Okay, let's talk about reports in the Security and Compliance Center. So as you scroll down, you're going to see reports down here towards the bottom. So we'll click on reports and we have dashboard, manage schedules, and reports for download. Let's start out with the dashboard. The dashboard is going to give us an overview with a lot of great insights. So there are a bunch of reports here that just show up and these are all predefined. And you can scroll over and see all of these reports here. Now, the downside with all of these reports that show up on our reports dashboard is that they only go back for about one week. Now, the nice thing is if I hover over them, you'll see for each day it's kind of popping up and telling me a little bit about its spoof detections. And But it only goes back for about a week. Now, before we dive into that, I want to point out one more thing so I don't forget it. Right here, your little three dots there give you the option to pin this to the home page, which is pretty awesome. Because if there are reports that you want to look at on a regular basis, just pin them to the home page. There they are. All right. What if I want to go into more detail? Well, in that case, I'm going to click on the report itself. And it's going to expand it out here a little bit. It's going to give me the option to view details in a table. But here's the biggest part of it. Well, there's three things here that are really useful. But the one that brought us here first was this, the idea of a request report. Let's come back to that in a minute. Let's talk about exporting. I can export the data now and save it and view it offline, which is very convenient. I can request a report, and this is what brought us here. I can re request a report that gives me a specific start and end date because that default report is just going to show me the last seven days. Want to see anything else? I do the request report. I do the start and end date. Uh, I can set a name for it. I can set filters on it. I can add email recipients. That's who it's going to go to. And uh, Microsoft 365 in the background will build the report for me and then it will email it out. Now, the other thing it's going to do, yes, I want to cancel this wizard, it is going to make that a report available for download. So if I come back to my dashboard, you're going to see right here we have reports available for download, or recent reports available for download. And so that'll show up here, and then I can download that report and use it. Now, the other thing that we had there, let me grab this one this time. The other thing we had here is create schedule. Now this will let me request a one-off report. I can create a schedule and this schedule will automatically generate the reports for me. So we can send email to schedule name, create the schedule, and finish. And that will automatically generate that report for me. Then when I go to Manage Schedules, I should see right here, I have a schedule start date, the schedule name, the report type, how often it runs. And then that will give me these automatic reports delivered to me. So great reporting tools from the Security and Compliance Center. View a quick overview in the dashboard, pen things to the uh, main dashboard if we want, uh, dig deeper with uh, requested reports or exporting reports, and then schedule reports to be delivered to us via email automatically. All right, so that should give you an idea of how you can start pulling security reports and monitoring the security in your Office 365 environment.